When installing windowsills, door trims, or any architectural detail, be certain all proper flashing has been installed before beginning mortar work. See the flashing video for more details on proper flashing techniques. When finishing openings or penetration points such as light boxes, spigots, etc., begin by installing window sills first. To ensure proper spacing for the sill and placement of bracing you'll need when mortaring and installing window sills, follow these simple guidelines. First, position a 2x4 straight-edged bracing board just under the pre-positioned sill. Check for levelness, then mark the location for the brace either at the top of the 2x4 bracing board or the bottom of the sill. Then, you're ready to attach the bracing board to the wall. Once properly in place, screw the level 2x4 bracing board into studs at 16 inches on center. Continue by installing the sill using the secure 2x4 bracing board as a rest for it, which will support it during the drying process. Next, apply mortar to the entire back of the sill, pressing it securely into the wall, and check for levelness. Once mortar has been applied and the sill installed, gently scrape any excess material away from the joints. Allow mortar on the sill to dry fully before removing the 2x4 brace. Install trim stone for a finished look to framing by using pre-measured trim stones around the outer sides. Begin with the top and center of the door frame using a keystone or center stone. Work from the outer edges of the door frame inward toward the keystone or center stone, cutting pieces to fit as needed. The process for installing door trim is very similar to installing window details. As with any opening or penetration in a stone installation project, be sure all proper flashing has been installed before beginning mortar work. Before installing any architectural detail such as utility box covers, light covers, spigot trim, etc., be sure that all proper flashing has been installed before beginning mortar work. See our flashing video for proper flashing techniques. When installing architectural details such as trims around an electrical utility box, Select the accessory and apply mortar to the back of the stone. Center it over the utility box, pressing firmly enough into the wall to securely adhere it. Check for level and plumb and use shims if needed for leveling. Finally, remove excess mortar that may have squeezed out. Continue installing stone around the utility box to finish your project. The same procedure can be used in conjunction with any of our outdoor accessories, 